There are lots of maps in Tower Defense Simulator, but undoubtedly one of the worst ones is this one. Derelict Outpost. I'm, I actually am going to have to try and convince... Okay, my team is going to do it. And keep in mind, I'm in a team of four. With four good people running good towers, this map is just so abhorrently terrible, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them leaves right now. Oh wow, we're committing. Basically take Badlands, because there's three paths, and uh, make it just worse in every way. The placements are worse because the paths are spread out. It's dark. There's a big building blocking a lot of uh, a lot of spots you could put stuff in. Everything about this map is horrendous. So horrendous that I'm not even sure if me with a team of four people here are going to be able to get through this. But I hope we can. Again, this is worse, worse than Badlands. I'm not saying like, oh, you know, th this map is like something like Badlands. It's, it's just worse. So for early defense, I got two gladiators. This is because gladiators... Uh, RW. There's going to be a lot of enemies stacking up together. Gladiators have pierce, so they'll help out killing uh, these early waves. Unfortunately, though, Gladiator got nerfed, meaning that, uh, it, you know, it can't pierce everything anymore. Back then, when uh, this map was beaten solo, because it has been beaten solo, it was with the use of Gladiator. The Gladiator was still unnerfed. It, it had infinite pierce, so that means all of the enemies could pile up uh, in one spot and the Gladiator would still be able to destroy it. Now that's no longer possible, which is going to make things significantly more problematic. So I'm really hoping that I can get up a little bit of decent farming here. And also, I'm going to hope that my teammates are going to defend. Is this guy AFK? Well, there he goes. Now we're left playing the hardest map in the game with three people. Oh my god, this looks terrible. The enemies just emerge out of the ground and like, ugh. So the loadout I brought is a gladiator, of course, in order to defend these early waves. Electroshocker for support, because we're going to need it. And then I have golden mini for DPS and medic. Let me get down yet another gladiator. Three should be enough. Each one of them has uh, three pierce, so we're going to be getting nine pierce in. Uh, and considering these two paths meet up at about the same time, uh... Yeah, we're, we're going to need it. Oh, but that's... But, you know, combined with the quicks, that's a little much. Thankfully, not too much, though. Uh, can I still defend this? I can. I mean, I'll take damage. But I, I can still defend it. Yeah, skipping might not be the best idea. Because if I skip, the enemies are going to, you know, pile up together. And then it's just going to make, make it an absolute nightmare to defend. Also, look at this cool blue mouse cursor. It makes it super easy to see, even when it's off here in the darkness. Okay, here come a bunch of quicks. Uh, some are going to leak. But, uh... No problem. Also got a level 2 farm. My goal is to get at least maybe two level 2 farms before going for more defense. My teammates are really greeting like this guy uh, has three level 2 farms and another one going. This guy, uh, he probably also is farming somewhere. Where is he farming? Huh? I mean, I, I can like skip the wave and see where the cash trails go, but uh, they're probably somewhere. All right, here come all the heavies. Uh, thankfully, the gladiators pierce is going to do the trick here. Yep, killed all of them. Uh, though, when these and these ones combine, it's not going to be so fun. Yeah, uh, it's gonna that's going to hurt a little. We're down to half HP now. Maybe that'll, you know, kind of remind my teammates that we need some defenses. Oh, and boom, we get an engineer. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll help. I just realized the guy that left could have potentially had a DJ or commander, which we really need in order to beat this map. But we're just going to hope that uh, these guys have it. Actually, let me go look. This guy has... Oh, both DJ and commander. Okay, we're fine. He brought only late game towers, though. So early game, we are going to have a struggle. Okay, the boss is going to be coming soon. My plan is upgrade uh, Gladiator. If I could somehow get level 4 for the boss, I mean, that would absolutely be uh ama amazing because i destroy the boss but unfortunately i don't think i'll be able to afford it because uh, it's thousand five hundred dollars also i'm interested what is this guy investing in let's see if he has farms somewhere on the map i'm gonna i'm gonna look out to see where uh, he gets his money at the end of this round and oh he's farming way out over here he's got two level three farms uh now what i don't like is the fact that there's a boss on its way this round three bosses with uh, 175 HP each, we are uh, we don't have enough HP to tank though. So team, better be prepared to handle these one way or another. And skipping might be the only way to do it. Okay, yes, we did skip. I'm gonna full save up for Illumina here. But do we have rifle sentry? Yes, we do. Let's hope that that's going to help. Let's use the commander's uh, no commander. Let's use gladiator's ability. And how much damage can we get done to this boss? Okay, we can tank like you know 50 50 HP. 
We will survive, although it will hurt, because uh, we're about to tank t another boss. Uh, one is nearly full HP. Yeah, 30 HP left. Now we're playing it really, really risky. So, I'm going to get Illumina uh, for this boss. There's a boss on this wave. Yeah, here it comes. I'm going to get it no matter what. As for my teammates, I really, 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 really need them to defend with, like, something. Like, Illumina's strong and all, but it's not taking care of uh, three more bosses on its own. Oh, and two rifle sentries is is good damage. Okay, we need to skip. Okay, here we go. Illumina, we're going to have to use its ability in order to take down these two bosses and the shadows that are going to come. Oh, uh, here they come. I hear an accelerator. I like the sound of that. Okay, one of the bosses just gets absolutely nuked. And so does the second one. Okay, uh, that should mean the shadows are also going to be fine as well because... The engineers are doing good damage, and of course, Illumina at the back to take care of everything. Yes, I can go back to farming, that means. It took us until wave 14 to get a defense that uh, at least somewhat resists, and now there's two abnormal bosses. That is terrifying, and we just skipped. That's even more terrifying. I'm guessing Illumina is definitely going to be necessary for uh, a lot of the stuff that's about to show up. I'm guessing I'm going to have to use uh, Gladiator's ability when all of this stuff starts pulling up. So let's go. Let's use Gladiator's ability and have it swing away. We needed to kill all of these uh, shadows and then the bosses. Come on, come on. Oh my god, that was close. This round, there's breakers. Uh, breakers just suck. Considering there's about to be a trillion of them uh, is not going to be any better for us. We have two accelerators. I think two accelerators is good enough to defend breakers. But I'm going to get my commander ability prepped up just in case I need it. And it seems like I needed it. Oh my goodness, that HP is low. So low, in fact, I'm getting another Illumina because if I don't have one up for wave, wave what, 19? Not even wave 19, just wave 18. I'd be dead. I also have five engineers placed down. All upgraded to rifle sentry, I'd assume. Here come more of these bad boys. Are gonna use commander's ability and spam upgrade Illumina so that we can... Uh... Yes, okay, there we go. Okay, we got down a DJ, but this next round is nasty. We are going to have a trillion breakers, and uh, the only thing that can prevent us from dying is uh, the Lord himself. Oh, what's kind of nice about this DJ spot is that um, my farms get a discount. But all right, yeah, these breakers are about to push up pretty far, so I'm going to use both of my commander's ability and just pray. Here they go. This, uh, this part is scary. Come on, please, please, please. Oh my god, we live. I'm going to save up for an Electroshocker. Because uh, I think without the Electroshocker, uh, uh, <laughs> good luck to us. Let's first see where I can place the Electro. I think... Uh, okay, I, I'm just going to straight up put it here. We're going to need this Electroshocker to save us from Fallens. Because, yeah, those, those are a thing. Thankfully, Accelerators are going to do good work. Really good work, actually, but uh, enough work? Probably not. Okay, here we go. We got a pretty high-level Electroshocker. In fact, I'm going to get another Electroshocker just because of how uncertain I am about our ability to survive. Okay, these Fallens, uh, thankfully, annihilated. Fallens on the sides, though, going to use Commander... Uh, I mean, Gladiator's abilities. Hopefully... Yeah, yeah, okay. Whew. I was really expecting that to be worse, but... Uh, thankfully, not not actually that bad. And whoa, I thought we didn't have Ranger, but I guess we do. And it was placed up here. That's weird. Well, time to get all of my level 3 farms. Uh, there we go. That's going to help greatly. And let's see, do both of these people have a DJ? Yes, they do. So we can actually have two DJs. Oh god, Fallen's just got kind of far. Yeah, yeah, this isn't going to be fun. Uh, essentially, what I'm going to do, probably is I'm gonna max out these gladiators and then max electroshockers just so we're stunning everything and if anything happens to get close to the back we're just gonna we're gonna wreck it and also I do have a plan to sneak medic somewhere in here but that's for later oh look at this a range boost this is going to be pretty handy this round there's gonna be a big boss uh three actually yeah good luck to me oh would you look at that because the DJ wait how's this even possible why is the DJ affecting this farm this farm isn't even in range well, I mean, I'll, I'm not going to complain. It's a free discount. Also, I just skipped. Uh, that that could have potentially been a mistake. I'm going to hope it's all going to be good, though, because, yeah, that boss is dead. This one ranger is actually an MVP. Like, it, it sees the entire map, so it's going to do great damage. Oh, God, stuff is getting far. Can we please kill it? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. 
Might be a good idea to get some max electroshockers for that, but I'm kind of broke, so we'll wait on that. Oh, great. Necromancers. Yeah, these things are going to have plenty of time to spawn all of their skeletons. This map must be fantastic for them. Lots of stuff here, uh, but not too much. <sighs> okay, a hidden boss. Like, I mean... Ugh. I just have to hope. No, actually, I'm not going to hope. I'm just going to help out my teammates by placing down a golden mini. Here it is. Uh, it's not going to be very high level, but it's it's going to do something. Come on. Oh, everything's getting close. Look at the amount of Fallens on this round. They're just running out like ants. Oh, I just remembered about the tank. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about the tanks because there's going to be three. So we're going to need like 10 accelerators. I'm exaggerating. Also, man, these necromancers are kind of pushing up. What the heck? This is what happens. Oh, wave 26. There's glitches. Combined with the fact that there's all of these skeletons, I don't know. I'm going to just use Commander, I mean, Gladiator's ability, and uh, yeah. Yeah, just don't play on this map. Please don't. Maybe if you have a really good team that has everything coordinated, but no, no, don't, just no. If you somehow enjoyed my suffering, like, subscribe, use Star Cody.